Welcome to this do-it-yourself guide for small automotive repair projects presented by 3M. This instructional video is intended to assist you with small auto body repair projects where the damaged or rusted area is relatively minor. You will be quite impressed with what you can accomplish using the right tools and techniques. This video is not intended to be used as a guide for larger and more complex repair projects. In such cases, it is recommended that you consult a licensed auto body repair technician. We know it is important to you that the job get done right, but it's just as important that it be done safely. With that in mind, we advise you to wear safety glasses and goggles when grinding or sanding metal or plastic. Make sure the area you are working in is well ventilated and that you use a respirator that is approved for either sanding or painting to minimize fume and dust inhalation. Do not wear loose clothing or leave shirt sleeves unbuttoned, but do wear gloves. And last but not least, do not use electrical equipment or tools with damaged cords. And always be sure to unplug the cord from the power source before changing or examining abrasive discs. Let's get started by cleaning the damaged area with a mild detergent and hot water. Rinse and wipe the surface completely dry. Mask the area around the damaged spot with 3M masking tape. For small areas, use a 2-inch medium-grade 80-grit sanding disc and sand until all rust is removed. Then use a 2-inch fine-grade 180 grit polishing disc to remove all sanding scratches. For large areas, remove loose rust and damaged paint with a 5-inch sanding disc using either a 40 grit or 80 grit disc. Now that you have carefully prepared the surface to be repaired, you're ready to move on to preparation and application of body filler. The first thing you have to do is determine the right filler to use for your applications. Bondo body filler repairs steel, aluminum, and fiberglass. Bondo Professional Gold is designed for use on e-coat surfaces, steel, and fiberglass. E-coat is short for electrostatic coating, the first coating applied to bare automotive metal. It is primarily used as a corrosion inhibitor. Bondo Ultimate Premium is recommended for galvanized steel, fiberglass, and SMC, or sheet molding composite, a non-metallic material starting to be seen in body panels of today's cars. Bondo Ultimate Premium is compatible with all paint systems. For this project, we're going to use Bondo Professional Gold. Start by kneading the cream hardener thoroughly before using. Never add hardener to the can. Use proportionate amounts of hardener to filler. For example, for a golf ball size of filler, squeeze a 3 centimeter or 1 and 1 quarter inch strip of hardener. Place the desired amount of filler and hardener on the mixing board and mix thoroughly until color is uniform. Mix small amounts that can be used in three to four minutes so the filler stays smooth and easy to work with. Clean the area with a tack cloth and spread an initial thin layer of mixed filler over the repair area using firm pressure to ensure maximum adhesion. As the product is getting firm, you may shape with a three-position file to form contours. Allow the filler to cure for 20 to 30 minutes, then sand with 80 grit 3M sandpaper
and Feather Edge with 3M 180 grit sandpaper. Feather Edge is the process of creating a gradual taper of the paint layers to create a bullseye around the repair area. It prevents sharp three-dimensional edges which could be visible after the repair process. Using the same grit, Feather Edge the repaired areas to gradually expose all layers, E-coat, primer, base coat, and clear coat. This will result in a tapered edge. When you run your hand over the sanded surface, you shouldn't feel an edge. Apply a very thin layer of Bondo glazing and spot putty to fill in pinholes and small imperfections. Sand with 3M 320 or 400 grit sandpaper before using primer to remove any remaining scratches. Then wipe the surface clean with a Bondo tack cloth. Mask the area you have sanded with 3M Scotch Professional Automotive Masking Tape. Tape at least 3 inches past the repair to allow for color coat blending. Following the manufacturer's instructions, apply two light coats of Universal Gray Primer. Make sure that the primer coverage extends about one inch beyond the exposed metal in the repair area. Just a reminder to spray in a well-vented area. Once the primer is completely dry, Feather Edge with just water to blend the repair to the painted surface. Use 3M wet or dry sandpaper, 400 grit or 600, to extend the sanding work one inch beyond the primer to blend the repair. The wider the Feather Edge around the repair, the better the repair will be. The objective is to get a very gradual taper from the old paint to the base metal. The 3M wet or dry abrasive will require fewer sheets during the sanding process. Then you can use a tack cloth to remove any surface dust. Once the primed surface is sanded, dried and free of dust, remove the tape and apply the base coat following the manufacturer's instructions. For a blended effect, the base coat should be applied in two to three light coats and about one inch past the primed area. Reduce paint thickness as you move away from the repair. Before applying the clear coat, Lightly wet sand the old clear coat around the entire repair area with 3M Imperial wet or dry sandpaper, 1000 grit or 1500 grit. This will improve the adherence of the clear coat to the surface and result in seamless blending between the old finish and the newly repaired area. Once you are satisfied with the appearance of the repair, Apply two light coats of clear coat over the entire repair area using a very light layer. After 48 hours, apply a mild rubbing compound to blend the refinished area into the surrounding surfaces. In the event you have any questions, Visit the following websites for product 
and project information.